gentlemen, please put your hands together for BSA, UCI's own modern dance team, Sublime! LVO means acceptance. Didn't matter where you came from, didn't matter if you had years of dancing experience, didn't matter if this was your first time dancing, doesn't matter if you go to UCI, if you go to another school, or if you graduate and you're coming back as an alumni, it doesn't matter. LVO was just about people who wanted to dance. I think that's what really, truly embodies LVO for me is that we aren't there for anything else except for our passion uh, and enthusiasm for dance. What does LVO mean to you? Uh, LVO means a lot to me. It's my dance family. It's my stress reliever. It's where I get to do what I love people I love and it really is something that I'm so glad I joined. LVO means family. You're like a second family to me. Friendship, love, support, and everything else in between that you uh, One of the most transformative experiences for me as an individual and also as a, uh, what it means to be a good friend and teammate. Uh, to me, LVO was like my home and everyone there was my family. It really meant just having fun, you know, just performing with people, making memories, and uh, making the best of your, uh, your college years here. LVO means so much to me. Um, LVO is pretty much my family. My entire social life in college, I did everything LVO for the first three years of college. I really wanted um, that sense of community, and I didn't feel that with any other team except LVO. And that's the reason why I committed to this team. It was for dancing, but it was also for the people. Because it's fun. I think LVO does a really good job of keeping everything open. When I came in, everyone was so welcoming. They were, uh, it was like open arms to me. Because of the people, uh, I really liked hanging out with everyone else because we were all crazy and obnoxious and we were all obsessed with each other. It's the people and opportunities to grow and dance like honestly if you looked at us my first year and looked at us now there's a huge change and it's really great to expose yourself to the different varieties of dance and everything like that so, uh, to the newbies of LVO um, I would say to you know stay persistent uh, stay humble and uh, just keep dancing for the newbies you know just stick with it like don't give up, keep trying. It may be hard at first, but you know, if you keep consistent, you're gonna get better. Have fun, don't forget to have fun. Um, be confident and don't worry too much about being the best or being perfect because, you know, obviously it's not about being perfect. What I wanna say, and what I wanna say to the newbies right now is dance anyway and keep dancing and don't stop dancing. Give us a chance, uh, I promise you, that you will find someone who shares the same passion as you. You'll find people to derp around with, to eat food with, go on adventures, LVO takeover, all that, because this really is a family, and I believe that it's a group of people that you can really bond over for the next two years, three years, four years, because it doesn't matter the amount of time it's the quality of these people. It's the quality time that you spend with them. And um, in one word, LVO is love. Definitely supportive. Inspiration. Is everything. Love. Family. Limitless. Family. Escape. One of the things that I wish I would have done was uh, definitely uh, make more choreo. Um, I felt like there was a lot of opportunities for me to really um, get on the artistic and creative side of myself and show that to the team. I wasn't able to um, you know, be as much involved during my first year as a coordinator. One of my biggest regrets is not being, being able to perform as often as I would have. My biggest regret would be not spending more time with them because four years was way too short. My most unforgettable memory, I have so many memories of LVO, I cannot really choose one. Um, from all the boba runs to all the hangouts that we did, um, but I guess 
the one thing that I'll never forget was when Terry asked me to be coordinator. Um, I think that really sticks out to me because I never considered myself as a leader, but being able to hear that from someone else and see that in me. Most unforgettable memory would probably be us putting together a set in a week for our competition for CPP. My first performance with LVO because it was after our performance was the first time I hung out with LVO really. It was our first or my first kind of kickback. Um, and that was when I really got to see what LVO was about and what it meant to me. And I, it was the first time I kind of like showed LVO who I was. It's probably the first time that I collaborated with someone. Uh, so it was me, uh, Andy, and Andrew. Uh, we decided over spring break back in 2012 to do a choreography. And it was kind of like, it was to beg for it, so, and it was kind of a guy's piece. A lot of people going, oh, we could do it, oh, screw whoever is going on before us, like, they don't know who we are, we'll show them type of thing. You know, we grew a bond over the second Hell Week we had for CPP, so that's definitely something that I'm going to take with me for the, for the years ahead of me. Most unforgettable memory was just being on this team, because... It, each day I see them, it's another day I love them. LVO means love. Let me show you how. 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 LVO means love, let me show you how. LVO means love, let me show you how. LVO means love. Let me show you how. Round and around and around and around we go. All around. Oh, now tell me now, tell me now, tell me now you know. thing. Uh, LVO rolls deep to that. There's only so many people coming out to support Anne as a big fat baby and dancing all night long for that carathon. <laughs> Like we are right now at this banquet and still body roll because that is important. Thanks.